beautiful autumn day. I feel sorry for everyone who's cooped up inside watching the seventh game of the World Series. Yeah, they won't learn anything about apples today. And the cider mill operated continuously until 1941, when its workers left to fight in the Second World War. When they returned, the old girl was just as they'd left her. Only now, she was infested with thousands upon thousands of rats. Oh. <laughs> right, and if you listen real carefully, you can still hear them gnawing away at the apples and splashing around in the toilets. And that concludes this portion of the tour. One of the most historically significant fruit presses in this part of the state Ooh. based on a German Ooh. design but modified for the larger American apple. Well, oh. if God didn't make little green apples, it's Homer Simpson. <laughs> How long have you been here? Twenty of the suckiest minutes of my life. Oh, sucking down the cider, huh? Hey, word to the wise, season pass. Pays for itself after the 16th visit. You know, most people don't know the difference between apple cider and apple juice, but I do. Now, here's a little trick to help you remember. If it's clear and yellow, you've got juice there, fella. If it's tangy and brown, you're in cider town. Now, there's two exceptions, and it gets oh, kind of Oh, you can stay, day, but I'm leaving. Can be yellow if they're using late-season apples. And, of course, in Canada, the whole thing's flip-flop. <laughs>